you cannot legitimize an illegality. So all these things that has been done, we might hate Kawira. We might want Kawira out. But the law says, do it within the law. They have a, a legitimate mm. reason to remove her. Mm -hmm. Let them follow the law for removal of the governor. The law was never followed. And that is why the judge immediately seeing a court order from Inye Meru High Court, seeing the procedures, how it was done, seeing the chaotic nature of how it was done. In the Munya case, the court said it is upon the speakers of the Senate mm. to allow every member mm -hmm. to participate. How many members were allowed to participate? Not even a third of the members of the Senate. How many abstained from voting? Who listened to the voice of the women senators? Mm -hmm. They were ignored. It turned out to be a butcher for women. So those are the issues that have been raised to the High Court mm -hmm. through this petition filed by my good brother, my friend Mutoma. And I'm telling you, courts will always follow the law. Senate, Parliament imagines they are above the law. Hmm. They are supervised by the judiciary. The judiciary is the last bastion that protects the rule of law. So Kawira has gone to say, you have valid grounds, mm. but follow the law to impeach me. Out of curiosity, let me just get this from a layman's perspective. And yes. we have seen it, you know, here and there where someone runs to court before their arrest because they are expecting an arrest and the courts will stop the arrest. Yes. Now, for the case of Kavira Mangaza, she went, you know, beforehand and the court stopped that process. I mean, someone would want to understand on what basis, on what grounds, and even if it is justified, that one should smell it from a distance that this MCAs were planning this impeachment process and goes before them uh, to the courts and the courts stop the process. Just explain to us what in the law allows her to go before uh, the courts and have that order before the impeachment process, even though they have a real reason to get her out of office. You can go to court after the fact. After you have been arrested, mm -hmm. you can go to challenge that arrest. Mm -hmm. All right. You can go to court in anticipating. Yes, yes that you are going to be arrested. Mm -hmm. Then you get what the law provides called anticipatory bail. bail mm -hmm. yeah. Like the one I did for Matiang. Mm -hmm. right. So that you cannot be arrested. But you'll be told you can you proceed and you can stop an illegal prosecution. A malicious prosecution. Like Kawera knew mm -hmm. the due process is not going to be followed. Mm -hmm. She went to court because the summons and the motion for impeachment had been tabled without due regard to the provisions of the law. So what are we talking about here? Because, you know, you've said, look, there's the rule of law. And the vanguards of the rule of law in this country is the judiciary. Completely. Mm -hmm. Okay? But there are court orders that have been given, not followed. Anybody can do whatever they want, it would appear. Court order is given, whether you follow it or not. Okay, well, it depends on, you know, what color the sky is that day. Then we are going back to the same court to say that this process, which was skewed or flawed here, we need you to now sort it out here. How? The, the only <laughs> thing I don't, I don't, I, the if, only if that is not held in high regard in terms of what said should be followed, how then can you trust outcomes or process? The executive and the legislature hmm. wants to operate with the conveniency, not with the law. Mm. The executive wants always to operate with the convenience. When pushed to the corner, when you hear teachers are going on strike, mm. it is the same government that runs to court to get an order to declare that strike illegal. When that court says, pay these people their salary, mm. then they say, this is a paper. <laughs> the conveniency of the executive <laughs> when the court has spoken in their favor 
they will always tell you we respect the court order. Mm. When that order is against the citizens, when the order is against the parliament, then they'll tell you we'll not do anything. So the court will continue issuing orders. Whether they are complied with or not, the court will not stop adjudicating and deciding matters based on the law. Hmm. When Izuma was the president of South Africa, mm -hmm. he ignored all the court orders. All plus, yes. The only one he complied with is when they sentenced him to go to jail. Okay, sorry, I have to go back to that because it seems as though, it's, I mean, it's not just in South Africa. Here, people ignore court orders. Yes. What happens... And walks court free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens when a court order is ignored? The issuing officer of the court... Who gave that order is seeing it. Mm -hmm. They're not somewhere on Mars. They're seeing that this is being ignored. What's the recourse for something like that? Whether it is parliamentary, whether it is individual, whether it is if somebody ignores a court order, let me ask it like this. Contempt of court. What is supposed to happen with the ignoring of a mm -hmm. court order? There is what is called a contempt of a court order. Mm -hmm. Once the court has spoken, because the, under the law, court orders are not mere aesthetic papers. It would appear as they are. But they have been made to appear like that. Mm -hmm. No private citizen has ever tried to disobey a court order. This is what I was going to say, because you as a private citizen, you try to you disobey You try. Yeah. Today, mm. a million policemen will be brought, including those ones in Haiti, to come and look for you. <laughs> <laughs> but when it is an order against the state, <laughs> it is the same state that controls the police. The police are the enforcers of court orders. The judiciary does not have a police force. All right. This is where we get a problem. So that the orders against the state, mm -hmm. the orders against cabinet ministers, the, or the, the orders against principal secretaries, the orders against serious state house operatives become paper. What is the end of that? Yes. The country now starts <laughs> going into saying because we cannot get an order against government because government is above the law. Citizens take and read at one of the constitution. Mm -hmm. We the people, we are the sovereign. They go to the streets. Uh, well, I... They take power yes. by force. Mm. They eject those ones who are not ruling the country by the rule of law. And they have turned the country into a banana country. What we saw in the demonstrations was a clear indication that the government has refused to comply with the court orders. Mm. The government has refused to listen to what the Kenyans want, and people will force them to listen. The law provides for Article 37 to demonstrate. The law protects the sovereignty of the courts. And my appeal to anybody today who has power should be knowing that power is transit. Power changes. Mm. Those who were arrested mm. are now being arrested. And those who are arrested now will be arrested next time. That is the, 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 the beauty. Trump is now facing the law. He but, was the law himself. But he's vying for president. It doesn't matter. He's, <laughs> he's facing the law. If the courts clear him, he has faced the law. Okay. So what we are appealing to citizens and what we are appealing to state, respect the rule of law respect court orders. If you are aggrieved with a court order, appeal. 